Hey, Facebook friends and YouTube. I haven't made a video in like three days because I got a new kitten and a new bunny, so I've been pretty distracted with that. <laughs> but hey, all y'all, well, first of all, I want to make this video about procrastination. Do not procrastinate on anything, okay? And if there's something that you feel like you need to do, then do it. And don't put it off. And if the Holy Spirit's telling you to do something, don't quench the Spirit. Just get it done. Don't be lazy. Don't put things off. I'm on my way to Walmart to get something that is kind of an emergency because somebody I know procrastinated on something. So, anyways, yes, do not procrastinate. Like, even simple stuff like cleaning your house or doing the dishes. Like, don't put it off because the more you put it off the, and the more you dread it, the more of a burden it's gonna feel like you know you just got to get it over with you know if you feel like I probably need to do those dishes then just do them you feel like I probably need to put those clothes away and do the laundry then do it you know if you feel like I need to vacuum the house then do it you know whenever you have that thought just do it don't just like push that thought down and like sweep it under a rug like just do it and get it done and you will have peace you know I think that's a huge stealer of peace I know it has been for me like in the past if I procrastinated on something you know, it would just steal my peace and it would just be like gnawing on my mind and like I knew I should get it done, but I was like procrastinating and that's really just like spiritual attack. I mean, it's like a spirit of like laziness, a spirit of apathy. So in the name of Jesus, I command any spirit of laziness right now to leave whoever's watching this spirit of apathy, spirit of depression, spirit of not getting things done, spirit of, I don't know, it's basically laziness, sloth. Spirit of sloth, we command you to go. Spirit of being foolish, we command you to go right now in the name of Jesus. All right, receive that. Believe it. Believe it and receive it. And what else? Uh, my advice for you all is that you should all go buy a kitten because it'll make you really happy. <laughs> and on Craigslist, you can usually find one. Although it's really hard to find kittens. It's easy to find cats, but not kittens. But we just got a kitten. And he is really cute. He's only two months old. And I'm keeping him. In, I'm keeping him in my garage because my husband is allergic to cats, but it works out. And uh, let's see. You should all go get a bunny, especially a baby bunny, if you can find it, because that's like the cutest thing in the entire world. I just got a baby bunny. It's a lot bunny, and it's super super cute. So if you want to get your kids away from the TV, which that was part of my goal then get a kitten and a baby bunny <laughs> and your kids won't just watch TV all day because that's not good for them and it'll give you all something to talk about you know if you get like a cute little pet and don't worry about the cleanup you know kittens my kitten is now potty trained or she's, he's going in the litter box so praise God and then the bunnies uh, bunnies also can be potty trained if you're interested you can google that but if you just put like a carrot over in a corner they always like to go in, the, in a corner and just put like some cardboard down and some paper towels or something. Then they'll go pee there. And their poop might be random, but you can just sweep it up with the little sweeper thing. But bunnies are really good pets because they're quiet. And um, like they really are. They're great. <laughs> they're so cute. I love bunnies. And they'll just sit there and let you pet them for like an hour depending on, you know. Baby bunnies are better, depending on the breed, but usually, you know, they'll let you just pet them. And I was thinking about it. If you're thinking about a pet for your kid, a dog might bite them and a cat might scratch them. Like, seriously, cats can scratch a lot. But bunnies don't really do anything. I mean, sometimes they'll scratch, but you just have to show your kid how to hold the bunny so that the bunny won't be scared. So you should all buy your kid a bunny. Yeah, yeah. And the weather is beautiful, so I recommend that you get your kid a bike if they don't have one so they can enjoy the outdoor and my biggest advice that I always want people to know is you all need to drink a lot of water like seriously that will solve that will solve and prevent any health issues that you could possibly have is just drink you really should drink about a half gallon to a gallon of water a day and not like in one sitting you just got to sip it you know just have like a couple drinks every so often because we need water and if, you know, when people don't get water, I mean, it causes headaches, it causes forgetfulness and all kinds of crazy stuff. So drink water, stop drinking soda, you know, juice is good, especially cherry juice, celery juice apparently is really good. Drink lots of water 
and go for a walk every day I recommend for sure and if you have kids it's really good to have them on their bikes and then you walk and then it makes you walk faster too because you're following them so I recommend that and watch Joyce Meyer every day I've been watching her every day and usually the stuff that I post on Facebook is like the best gold nuggets from her sermons like the best quotes from her sermons so I hope that's helping any and all of you but yeah you should all watch you know just a little bit of Joyce Meyer every day I think she gives the best most practical advice for life just about how to have a good attitude you know and stuff like that and that helps with everything and what was my other big advice oh eat a salad every day because a uh, salad is the best source of vitamin K vitamin K is the number one vitamin that you need for your heart so if you have like chest pain like I didn't used to have any chest pain but then I fell off my bike which caused me to decide to sell my bike but I fell off my bike, I slipped on some sand, and I fell on my chest. This was like six months ago. And I had this huge bruise on my chest. And so I think that that messed up some of the veins in my chest. And so then like a month later, I was having really weird chest pains. And then I literally thought I was having a heart attack. Like I had like the tingling in my arm thing. And, and then I was like looking it up on Google and I was like, oh my gosh, that's what it is. Like you see in movies when people like their arm feels funny and my chest was really hurting it woke me up in the middle of the night so I went to the ER now I have an ER bill from that which I so I'll pay eventually I guess when I start teaching but anyways you got to really protect your heart uh, metaphorically and literally but um guard your heart yeah but so anyways and be careful of like riding a bike and watch out for sand and don't fall anyways and then so eating salad salad has vitamin K so that really helps your heart so uh, that I mean that whole thing motivated me to start eating a salad every day so I guess that's kinda good and I haven't had chest pain in like a month praise God and I've been going for a walk every day so I think that that's really been helping and my husband's been praying for me so if you know anyone that like prays in tongues and you have like a physical pain just ask them to pray in tongues for that thing and that you know just believe and you can be healed and pray for yourself too, obviously, you know. So I'm going to do some a little bit of tongue spraying for any of you watching this. But it's probably going to make you laugh because my tongue is really silly. Okay, so I'll receive that. <laughs> I just prayed for you to be happy, healthy, and prosperous. That's what that was. <laughs> Something like that. No, but it did edify me. I'm just, I'm happier now. It's amazing. It's crazy how that works. Anyways, I'm pretty sure that's my tongue. Because uh, I know it sounds weird, but oh well. Anyways, my God bless you all. And if you feel inspired to pray in tongues, to just like experiment with it. The key is just to not worry about looking, looking stupid to yourself, to other people, and just in general. And just like not worry about it. And I think it applies that verse, you know, <clears throat> if anyone does not become like one of these, he will not enter the kingdom of heaven, become like a child. And I think that's the whole tongues thing, you know, it's kind of like becoming like a child and just like babbling. And I know all about that because my five-year-old has been babbling for like five years. She's finally getting better. I pray for her about that. But, you know, she did babbling for a long time with her talking. So it's like that. So that's what tongues is, I think. I mean, some people, it sounds like a language, but it just depends. So. Anyways, my God bless you all. I pray that that advice helped some of you, and I hope you all have a great spring. Get out and enjoy the weather, and get some bunnies and kittens and bikes for your kids, <laughs> and drink lots of water. Okay, may God bless you all. Have a great day.